quit the last race of the year. Uh, you had a few days um, alone, either traveling to get home, uh, to think about those. Arrive back to uh, Canadian winter, nice and dark, wet most of the time, and uh, kind of think to yourself, you know, what comes next. The event was going great. Uh, unfortunately, it went from great to bad rather quickly. Uh, I think I maybe rushed the return to racing a little bit after Badlands, and I went from having a 30 kilometer lead, 40 kilometer lead, to standing on the side of the road in the dark and pulling out of the race um, around midnight uh, the first night after about 18 or 19 hours of racing. I don't know what, like, I don't know what else you could have worn. Like, the only thing I have left in my bag was my down jacket, but it's like, that would be wet in two seconds and it'd be useless. Like, and, like, yeah, it like full on, like, I don't know. If you're the type of person that goes out and maybe doubles down when it didn't quite go as planned or it went poorly, then ending the season on a bit of a disappointing note is actually kind of um, a motivating thing, a motivating catalyst for getting out and doing work, especially like where I live where it's not always nice and warm, dry. Life is obviously busy and gets busier for everyone as you get older. Um, and it's really important for me to maintain the relationship I have with not just my friends, but also the cycling community. Um, I travel so much and have traveled so much that maybe I've lost contact with that, but this ride it does the same thing for my friends and I as it does for myself and the community at large. Um, it brings us together at least once a year to do something cool. It's easy to put things off, but if you have that one thing you commit to each year, um, you at least have that, that one thing to look forward to and that keeps you together um, because it's too easy to uh, let things fall by the wayside and then all of a sudden you haven't seen someone in you know, two years and turns into five years and then you're catching up after 10 years and life is short, man. The last ride is Victoria's original gravel event. Uh, this is the fifth year, um, unofficially the 10th year. And it's about this community and this day that's just everything but a bike race. You're just out there riding with your friends, hanging out, having coffee in the morning, you know, slice of pizza at the rest stop and then finishing with a beer and a burger at the end of the day with a bunch of other like-minded people that have just had an experience that's going to be different than yours and that's kind of it's kind of the gist of it it's just an awesome day on the bike with your friends and maybe some people that you didn't know before Rob's created this fantastic ride that so many people have been able to get on and, and experience a little bit of uh, the trails and the roads that we have here in Victoria. The, uh, the people that come out to ride, uh, it's, it's everybody in Victoria, which is great. We get uh, you know pro cyclists, we get uh, the semi-pros that do the local scene, and uh, we get people who are just weekend warriors, and it's... Uh, it's fun to see people get out and, and challenge themselves to, to go out and ride things that they may not ride normally, to, uh, to ride a distance or a pace that they may not ride. And uh, everybody just has such a great time. I, I, love, I love getting back to the end of it and seeing 
people come in tired or shattered or, or you know, their bike broke and they had to, they had to walk in and, and uh, it's all smiles. Everybody is always so happy and, and, and so excited that they actually finished these, these challenges. One of the biggest things that I love with what I do is traveling. One of the biggest things I have come to miss when I travel is being home. Uh, so tying in my community when I am home and creating more of a home uh, for the day when this eventually stops uh, is pretty important and as I get to know the community more and the people in it and everything about it, I love it more and more and it makes it easier and easier to yeah, stay home and not have to chase that adventure all of the time every year. And yeah, the last ride is probably a big reason for that. And who knows, maybe the last ride is the start of the next chapter.